Yeah, Patrick, according to this lawsuit, not only are these officers legally required to search a vehicle and in a case like this, they should have known the little girl was in the car because the lawsuit says another adult there at the scene told them she was. There's are the first names in the lawsuit, officers James Collins and Fabian Garcia, the officers who arrested a woman in November 2018 on suspicion of OWI, but failed to search the woman's van, sleeping in the back seat, the woman's four-year-old daughter. And according to the lawsuit, the officers ignored the other adult who told them the girl was there. They absolutely knew it because her aunt said so, and they simply allowed the van to be towed, and they had no care at all. A tow truck took the van to a city lot where it stayed overnight with the wind chill as low as nine degrees. The next morning, an employee at an adjacent lot heard the girl screaming, I want my mommy. If you arrest a driver on suspicion of OWI, you search the car. That's what happens everywhere else. William Sultan is one of the lawyers suing those officers, their supervisors, and the city. He estimates as many as a dozen people had contact with the van, but none of them searched it. Now, if they want to point the finger at other city workers um, who hours later has had contact with this vehicle, again, that's just more trying to deflect the blame uh, away from themselves. Should the officers and the, their supervisors in this case be fired? All of them. Every single station. one of them, absolutely. Leaving a four-year-old child overnight in a tow lot by herself, if that doesn't get you fired, then I think we have very significant problems. And according to Sultan, Officer Collins is already off the force. Disciplinary records included in the lawsuit show, in addition to not searching the van, Collins also failed to activate his body camera. And Derek, Officer Collins' name might be familiar because of another high-profile case. Yeah, Patrick, James Collins is the same officer who bragged about getting overtime after standing on the ankle of Bucks guard Sterling Brown during that taser takedown arrest just 10 months before the incident with the van. Patrick?